Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to the vlog. So, I've been incognito the last couple of days because, again, I've been having a bit of an issue with my app in terms of server load. Not on a consistent basis, just in peak periods of the time. Uh, well, peak period time, excuse me. And so, as a developer, the first thing you look at, and I've talked about this in a previous vlog, you're saying, okay, we got to... We got an old ARM, we got a database design could be better, the app code could be better. So you're looking at these big issues and the first thing I did to uh, solve the problems is I, I just amped up the server power, quite a bit of power in fact. And then um, as more and more people started getting on board during the peak periods, it, wasn't helping. So I said to myself, how can, you know, we gotta, we gotta deal with this problem. Fortunately, I had a clone of the app on another virtual private server. And the thing that confused me is that though the clone of the app was literally a clone, line for line, same code, same database schema, same database structure. Despite that, I was having performance issues on the big powerful live server and on the the development, the secondary server, which was a far, far wimpier server, like two CPU versus eight, uh, four gig of RAM, well, eight gig of RAM versus, versus 32. And the only difference between the one on the weak, wimpy server and the one on the production server is that we had a lot less, uh, we had a lot less users, less records, but it was dramatic difference. So I started digging a little bit deeper and instead of going uh, into the more complex issues, I decided to sort of dig into the simple stuff. And uh, so what I discovered is that the previous lead developer, he had not properly indexed the key table in the app, database table. And an index is basically uh, a way of optimizing your database tables for speed. So if you have a database table with hundreds of thousands of records or millions of records, uh, if you don't index the table, then a lot of times when your app is utilizing the database, it's going to have to read all these records. It's a big pile of processing that's going to be required. So with an index, when you apply an index, it literally indexes the table, meaning it kind of summarizes it into a more compact form. So it makes it so much faster when it's trying to interact with this big table of data. And I won't get into it beyond that because it's just, this is just a simple blog. And uh, I'll just say this, when you are creating your database tables and you have any row, columns rather, any fields, uh, columns are fields, we call fields in database lingo. When you have any fields, you have to, you have to uh, index fields that are used in where clauses. So if you have a select statement, and you should know a little SQL, if you have a select, select, first name, last name, from blah, blah, table, where, I don't know, whatever's in that where clause, whatever's in that where clause should be indexed. And an index is literally going to the database and you apply index, and it takes two seconds to do. It's an easy thing. And what you'll see, if it's done properly, you're gonna have a huge speed increase. So back to what happened to me last few days, I went in there and I realized that they hadn't applied indexes properly on this crucial table. So I, I applied the indexes, it took me all five minutes. And now, to give you an idea, with the same number of users on the peak periods, instead of the CPUs running up to 50% uh, you know, f well, between 40 and 50 percent on the peaks, it's now down to two, three percent on the peaks. Again, I've taken it from 50 percent CPU utilization down to three on the peaks. It, this is a crazy huge performance increase. So, what does this mean? This means that you have a super f fast running application, and this means I can reduce my server power by like 80, 90 percent and get good performance. So uh, there you go. Now, some people may say you should have performance tracking built into the app, but like somebody posted on, in one of the comments on the vlog, 
you know, when you're building an app and you're working out the business model, you're working out the literal, literally the functionality of the app, you don't have time to put in all kinds of uh, built-in um, uh, tools, if you will, that will uh, monitor the performance of your application, simply because you're going to be changing all of these, uh, you're going to be changing the guts of your app on a need-to-nerd basis, and so it's going to, if you start writing in all this rock-solid uh, performance tracking uh, code in there, your cost development is going to skyrocket. So the way it goes when you first release an app into the marketplace and you're not sure how it works, you're going to write quicker code, not so robust code in the sense that uh, you won't have all these uh, monitoring services built into it. Now though, with the new version of the app that we are building, because we know exactly what needs to be done, we understand the use case perfectly, now we will be able to put in these types of tools in there to monitor performance and so forth. So there you go. So the thing to take away from this vlog is that sometimes it's the simple things that really make a huge difference in terms of your app's performance. And as it was 15, 20 years ago, it is still today. Many a times the bottleneck in your app can be a simple as the database, something in the database, whether it be the database structure or somebody putting in a proper index into the database. So keep that in mind. Uh, so when you're learning web development, regardless of the platform, you should learn at least basics of database design. You should understand indexes properly and when to apply them, how to apply them, because they can have, as in this situation, a massive uh, impact in terms of the uh, impact on your uh, performance of your app, right, and the cost. So I'm going to be able to reduce my hosting costs by many thousands of dollars a year now, simply because, you know, all things being equal, simply because of a five-minute uh, job of adding an index to a couple of fields inside of a crucial table in the app. Five minutes saves you thousands of dollars and no more calls from uh, clients complaining that the app is running slow on peak, peak times. All right, that's it for now. Bye-bye.